There are some changes in the AutoCAD 2010 user interface, so you'll see a new toolbar after creating a block. This set of changes is part of the block editor interface. So in this class we'll learn how to set up the block editor and how to configure project block viewing. Let's see how the block editor interface is used. This interface basically consists of a tab that contains all necessary tools for creating dynamic or parameterized blocks. There is also a command palette for enabling all actions and parameters used for block definition. It's worthwhile to know the tools on this palette are also located on the Block Editor tab. Here you can also open this set of tools and palette as well as other palettes, for example the Properties and Parameters Manager. The Properties palette is very useful to modify parameter properties and actions inserted in the block. The Parameters Manager palette is used to manage expressions and dimensional constraints inserted in a parameterized block. You can modify the settings in the editor interface to display the detailed elements in the block and check if they've been defined correctly. Configure this in the Options item on the Applications menu. Select the User Preferences in the dialog box after it opens and then click Block Editor Settings. Another way to access the settings screen is to click this pointer on the Manager panel and then in the Block Editor option. You can see how a new dialog box opens. We can change parameter colors, grips, element size and types of font as well. Let's change the settings and see the displayed results. We can see how easy and quick it is to change the color and type font size. Change the color used to display a block element in the constraint status, which may be completely defined using geometric and dimensional constraints. There are also options to control the action bar view and value display. We can also define whether elements with required actions are highlighted or not when the action or parameter is selected. Then when you know what each option does, configure the view based on your needs. Click OK to confirm the settings. Click OK again. Now we can view the blocks based on customized settings. So in this class we've learned how the AutoCAD block editor is organized. And we've learned how to configure elements to define dynamic or parametric block views.